Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you a bag that I keep in my car all the time. This is not a bug out bag. For lack of a better phrase, we're going to call this system my urban get home bag. It's, uh, I call it urban because it's not put together for a camping or wilderness environment. Some of the stuff, of course, can be used like that, but it's, I put it together with being in the city in mind. <clears throat> the bag itself is called the Go Bag from Cheaper Than Dirt. Um, it's pretty inexpensive, but it does everything I need it to. It's got a good carry strap. Uh, it's padded. It's also got attachment points where you can also add more gear if you wanted to have that on your shoulder. I want to get the shoes out of the way first though. These shoes stay in my car with this bag all the time. I tether it to the bag handle with this carabiner and this is not for climbing, it's not rated for anything like that but it, it will hold 200 pounds if you needed to put something on it. But I bought these shoes new, wore them a month to break them in and make sure I didn't get any hot spots, uh, cause any blisters or anything and then designate them specifically to stay with this bag. Okay, first I wanted to show you what I have in either end pouch. It's my, my water. I keep these full of water. These are the, the Nalgene Oasis. They're just like the GI Canteen. This is the Canteen Cup and Stand. I have one on either side because I, I could have my wife with me and we both may need to get home and have some water or it's extra water for me if I'm by myself. In the front pouches, we'll start here. I've got a got this a little cheap notebook. And this is a inventory list printed out on inkjet waterproof paper. It's held up pretty well for me so far. Here we have a SOG multi-tool with a belt pouch. I'm not going to take a lot of time telling you guys what these are for. You can watch videos on each individual item if you'd like. But this is a military keychain sharpener. I like these a little better than the kind, the carbides that you just drag your blade through. It seems like these give you a better cutting edge when you're done. Uh, and it's simple, quick. I'm hopefully not going to need it for an extended stay. These are the Proforce brand wind and waterproof matches. Um, they burn hot and they last longer than a standard match. You've got your striker on, on the top of the lid there. Here I've got a Strike Force fire starter. These are uh, excellent. They hold the, the tender in the handle. It's a big rod on here and it'll throw some sparks. I'm not actually going to do it in the house. Of course, a Bic lighter. This may not be your first choice to start a fire, but it's handy if all the conditions are right. Just a standard match container you can get from any discount store. I put my matches in there and then I stuff it with cotton. I also have a, the striker turned backwards, not facing the matches. That just keeps them from rattling around. If they move too much, the, uh, the phosphorus head will actually powder off. And here I have a hand trowel in a belt pouch. This comes in handy um, if you have to stay overnight especially. This is just a standard pin I picked up somewhere, probably lifted it from a bank. This is something I haven't, I've seen the tactical pins. I actually bought this pin before I had ever heard of the tactical pins that can be used as a weapon uh, at the office depot. I bought this. It's a solid stainless steel shaft and everything pin. It's pretty durable if you needed to use it for that. Of course, it, it writes really good too. In this pouch, there is a, this is a one liter platypus bag. These bags are awesome. Um, if any of this stuff you'd like to see me do more on, just let me know, but I think you can find good quality videos out there talking about this stuff. Of course, the emergency ponchos. Here in the southeast, mosquitoes are not our friend. This One of these goes in every hiking kit, bug out kit, every kit. 
must have in the southeast. In this pouch I have a the LED mini mag light. Um, they last for a long time on a set of batteries and a belt pouch. I always carry the nylon zip ties. There's so many uses for these, I couldn't even, you could probably do 10 videos and not cover all of it. In my main compartment, I can't go wrong with a Swiss Army knife. Of course, I tied this rope on here, I think, before, <laughs> before paracord was invented. Not really. Um, this has been on there for more years than I care to say. A good set of work gloves. These are the Wells Lamont brand. Now, there are a lot of good first aid kits out there, but I just put this one together myself. Um, from my experience, what's happened to me, I know how the areas I'm clumsy in and what I get injured in. So I just made my own personal kit there. I've got snack foods stored in there, something for some quick energy, keep me from starving to death. And also, these energy drinks seem to work pretty good for me. I don't get the jitters or whatever. Sunscreen, because you don't know what time of the year it's going to be. Sunblock and insect repellent. Got to have that around here. This is just a basic fixed blade knife. It's got a pretty good blade shape, actually. I picked this one up at a, at a gun and knife show years ago. You can tell I've never used it. I thought I'd put it in this kit and give it, give it a use. I need to test it out one day and make sure it's going to hold up. A dollar store radio. This is something that I like. I got it from the uh, the canteen shop. They've got a they've got a channel on here. Also now they've got a canteen cup stove, the stand. It looks pretty neat. I think I'm going to probably order one of those and, and try that out. And for eating, this is a titanium spork. From light my fire um i actually melted one of the plastic ones used it for a long time but it finally just couldn't stand up to the way i treat them i guess more batteries for the radio batteries for the flashlight and a mini carrier that's a great organizer too i got a video on that got a fleece watch cap it's a it's a, a boggin that's what we call it around here this is from county com this is a eod breacher bar um, it's it's a whole lot lighter than carrying with you a uh, crowbar or a cat's paw. These work pretty good. Several guys on the local SWAT team have these. The old standby, I hardly use these, but this is the magnesium block fire starter. Candles. I don't know if you can see this one, the little blue one. That is a prank candle, one of those that you blow out and it lights back up. I was thinking, you know, heck, if, if it's hard to blow out, the wind may not get it either. Great for fire starting. This is something I, tr I try to carry. Um, I'm not a rich man, so I can't afford for somebody to snatch this out of my car. But this is $20 in $5 bills, $10 in $1 bills, and of course $10 in quarters. That's what's giving it its shape. And I put it in this vacuum bag, not to protect it from getting wet, but to keep me from using it and, and then forgetting to put it back in there. Got a miniature deck of playing cards just to kill some time. Ranger man holding it in its case. This is my emergency cook stove. It's the Esbit. The Esbit brand I, I like better than any of the little knockoffs. They all work the same. Um, this one holds four tablets. Really good stove. You need to watch a video on one of these if you haven't seen it. This is a Frontier Pro straw filter. This is the whole setup. It's got the, the straw. These are great. You can use it with that platypus bottle. Uh, you can make a gravity filter where you don't have to do anything it'll drip down into your canteen or you can drink straight out of a water source with this depending on how you put it together these are really nice this is an aurora fire starter it's, it's got magnesium and ferocium if i'm saying that right in the rod so you get hot sparks that last longer than standard sparks this sorry about that this is your striker that's a replaceable blade you just hold it in this fashion here and throw the sparks that way. Stays dry too. Got an O-ring seal. Okay, this is just a saber saw. I've got one I use in the woods. But basically it's a chain saw with nylon handles. Of course a compass. Got a lanyard on it. This, 
item here is a four-way seal cock valve in in cities or on municipal buildings or um, any type of public building a lot of times they'll have a door that their water spigot is behind this is actually the key to get into that door and also the key to turn the spigot on or off uh, they do that so people can't steal water from them but in an emergency situation you know I may have to a hundred foot of 550 cord and this bag is just a personal hygiene bag got, I've got some Coleman Coleman wipes a uh, little bit of TP uh, let's see here. Dr. Bronner's soap this stuff you can use it for body wash hair wash toothpaste wash your dishes with it it's biodegradable it's just great stuff of course hand sanitizer miniature toothbrush kit and the old chapstick Burt's Bees this is a set of the N95 dust particulate mask I just keep them in a ziploc bag handy dandy duct tape this is something I'm not gonna open it this is a uh, ripstop nylon tarp I had a local seamstress make it for me she did an awesome job it's got um, I've already got the, the 550 cord for my guy lines in here I've got uh, the titanium tent pegs and this is a 5x7 plenty big enough to cover two people you gotta have a bandana more than one is better this is a little organizer pouch, military kind with the, the molly straps on it. And here I have a, this is a Stanley miniature screwdriver. It's got four, four different heads on it. This is a piece of bicycle inner tube. Of course, you know you can cut them for ranger bands. Uh, there's also they're also great for starting a fire too, um, if you're not that worried about the ozone layer. Safety pins are in here. More wet fire. Small thing of dryer lint. A little Fox 40 whistle. These are awesome. These are in every kit I've got. A small military can opener. They don't uh, sell this anymore. This is a Gerber fingernail clipper grooming kit. small hand screwdrivers another lighter this actually came from Lowe's it's a all-weather notebook it's like the ride and rain notebooks this is waterproof you can write on it with ink pen or pencil a miniature saw it's got two different blades on it it's got a metal cutting blade and a wood blade small and handy and this is one of those carbide drag through knife sharpeners I was telling you about it's also got a diamond diamond rod for sharpening your serrated areas that's the main contents of my my bag the one last area I have I know it usually starts a lot of discussion this is just my gun that I carry it's small um, this is the car PM9 it is unloaded I carry a magazine in the gun. And a spare. Both of these are unloaded for the video. You guys, on, on any of my videos that I post, uh, I'm here to learn, teach a little if I've got something that anybody needs to know. I welcome you guys to rate, comment, add video response, anything. I appreciate your time today. Hope I wasn't too long-winded, and everybody stay safe.